guys, so I have been using the Hair Max laser comb for three months. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the result and find out together whether this product helps with hair growth or not. So I get a lot of questions about how often I use certain things and whether I combine products together. So I'm going to address that right now. I have been using this laser comb for the past three months and I have been using it for about two to three times a week. The recommended frequency for using the laser comb is three times a week and every time you just have to use it for seven to eight minutes and in the past three months i have not been using any hair oils and the reason is because i wanted to control the variable so all the results that we see in this video is going to be coming from the hair max laser comb except for last week i tested out a few hair oils but that's probably not going to make a huge difference because nothing works that fast my hair has definitely grown a lot in the past three months and i also think it looks a bit thicker overall in the close-ups, my hairline does look more filled in, although I'm not sure if it's due to the lighting or not. But overall, I do think there is an increase in the thickness of my hair compared to when I first started using the laser comb. The change is definitely noticeable to me, but it's not a dramatic increase in thickness and volume. So in the past three months, I have charged this for maybe a total of two to three times. So the battery for this is pretty good. You can just leave it on the counter, use it whenever you remember it, and go on using it without charging for a month, which makes it really good for traveling because you don't really need to bring a charger unless you're traveling for more than a month. So I think this is pretty easy to use. It's definitely easier and less messy than using hair oils. I like to use this when I'm watching a show and time just goes by really quickly. However, it still takes a little bit of effort and self-awareness to know when you're supposed to move it across your scalp. And because of that, I think something like a laser hairband or a laser cap is actually going to be even more convenient. As far as I know, I think if you get a laser hairband from Hair Max, you only need to wear it for maybe two minutes and it's going to shut off by itself. So it really requires no effort on your end. So for that added convenience, I think it's going to allow me to use it more consistently if I have a laser hairband or a laser cap. So even though I have not used any hair oils in the past three months, I have to say I do miss the oils. So even though the laser hair comb does stimulate hair growth and I have been seeing the continuous growth of my baby hairs, but I don't think it does anything for the hairs that I already have in terms of nourishing it or improving the condition of my scalp. So moving forward, I'm definitely going to combine the hair oils like castor oil, rosemary oil, or scalp treatment with the use of laser. <laughs> Alright, this part of the video is not totally related to the laser hair comb, but I do want to share a few of my recent hair favorites with you guys. Alright, number one is this hair primer from The Innate Life. So this one is basically a toner for your hair and your scalp. And what it does is that it's going to balance out the pH of your scalp and your hair. There's apple cider vinegar, honey, and some sort of plant protein. So what it does is that it's going to seal the cuticles of your hair after washing it, which will smooth out the hair. So immediately after you spray this on your hair and your scalp, you can feel a difference in your hair because it's easier to comb through, it's easier to blow dry. There's also rice and oat protein in this, which just gives your hair a little bit more volume. I love using this every time after I wash my hair. It doesn't weigh my hair down. I definitely think that it improves the condition of my hair and my scalp. And it just feels really nice to apply it after after washing my hair. So yeah, highly, highly recommend this. I will say this is a hair care product, but it does also give your hair a little bit more texture, which I really appreciate. So another product that I have been really loving is the scalp treatment from The Innate Life. So I used this many years ago, and I recently tested this for a few times for the brand. And you guys know I have been applying castor oil in my hair for six months before using the laser hair comb. And I've had a really good experience with castor oil. And during that time, I actually looked into all the different types of oils that are good for hair growth, like rosemary oil, argan oil, neem oil, and things like that. And this product is basically the combination of all of that research. It's basically a blend of all the best hair oils, plus a bunch of Ayurvedic herbs that are good for hair growth. So yeah, this product just saves me the time from doing the research and also sourcing the ingredients myself. And also it removes the uncertainty of the quality of the ingredient. Because when you're buying the oil from say like Amazon, from a brand that you're not really familiar with, you just never know whether 
their claim to be organic is true or not. And best of all, this is pretty affordable as well. For a jar like this, it's only $20 Canadian. If you use it for maybe two to three times a week, and you only need a little bit to massage it onto your scalp, this is going to last you for um, any anywhere between three to six months, which is actually a good thing when you are able to use up the product within six months, because that means you are always putting the most fresh ingredients on your scalp. And the last favorite is this dry shampoo called Powder and it's from the brand Hair Story. So I have been on a hunt for a good dry shampoo that is non-aerosol and also easy to apply like an aerosol spray. And this one just checks all the boxes. And also this is made from tapioca starch and the powder itself is very very fine which means it's really easy to blend it into your hair. It's also very easy to apply because it comes in a little spray bottle which will give you a nice even distribution when you apply the dry shampoo itself. So yeah, I really really love it. It also smells really good because it puts some essential oils into the powder. It does a great job of absorbing the excess oil that we produce uh, in our second and third day hair. And also it adds a lot of volume to the hair as well. So yeah, highly recommend powder from Hair Story if you're looking for a dry shampoo. And everything I talked about will be linked in the description down below. And this video is not sponsored. These are genuinely products that I really enjoyed in the past few months. And they do make a big difference in the health of my hair and also how I feel about my hair. If you want more information about the innate life or hair story, I have made a separate video about each of them, which you can check out in the description down below. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any video requests for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And I'll be more than happy to do them for you. Bye!